Good afternoon, welcome to Showbiz here on Joy News today. Now, High Life legend, legend Amanza Banat Brew has taken a swipe at the African Union for doing little for the development of the continent. The musician described the AU as a group of toothless bulldogs and stated that Ghanaians are backward. So, why are we wasting our time following them? You want to play like them? You want to, if we want to play our football, go and bring a foreign coach. If you want to do this, why are we so retarded? We are retarded, though. You know, we walk, smile, hug each other, and speak to one another, but most of us are deranged. We look good, but we are deranged. Because if you think like you're supposed to think, certain things that are happening on our land will not happen. AU, they gather like a group of toothless bulldogs. They'll go, whatever their master says, they bow, they grovel. AU sat here and Muammar Gaddafi was picked and murdered for what reason? For what he wanted to do for Africa. And you guys, sometimes you are scared of some of the things that we say. We say it and you have to put it out there. If you can't say it, we are saying it for you. Me, hey, I've lived quite long enough. So if I pass, it will be my wahala. We're from Amanda Alternative Rock Band, Dark Suburb, have aligned the unavailability of appropriate instruments as part of the group's challenges. According to the group, some event organizers in the past have found it difficult to provide them with equipment for their performances, putting quite a strain on their career. <laughs> I mean, we've been working, like what people don't know is that for a rock band in Ghana, um, and rock not being a popular category here, we, we've been having limitations, even equipment to perform, you know, and it, we've been we going back to the ground to try to rebuild, because sometimes even people book you and they can't afford to get the stuff that you need to play well, so it's been hard, but now we're ready, we've just finished our LP and starting our world tour, but world tour starts from Ghana, so from July, that sort of is bringing the graves, you know, to the stage. And that will be fascinating. Like you've never see when we came out, we let's say Dax have been operating five percent our what the concept is, and now we're going hundred. So it's gonna come harder again, imagine five percent and you're gonna get all the ninety-five. So anytime you watch us on stage, even the VGM stage like we do after imagine if this is five percent, where is the rest of the ninety-five? So it's coming at you. And I also remember you, I can see their faces. But that's their brand. You have to get used to it. I remember that uh, I spoke to you. Uh, sometime. In other news, ABC TV Network has cancelled comedian Rosanne Barr's show after she posted a racist tweet likening an African-American former Obama aide to an ape. Here is a report by ABC News. Million Americans tuning into the premiere. But today, Roseanne Barr's own words sowed her show's fate. The comedian posting a since-deleted racist tweet about a former advisor to Barack Obama, Valerie Jarrett, writing if the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. Barr later tweeting, forgive me, my joke was in bad taste. Um on that note, we end showbiz here on Joy News today. My name is Becky. <laughs>